What's going on guys, my name is Hypnostic and welcome to a brand new MWZ video. For those of you who don't know, I make daily zombies videos and if you enjoy watching zombies videos then be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. So a while back, someone by the name of Mr. Clean suggested two weapons, the EBR-14 which we reviewed about a week ago or so and also the Lockwood MK2 which we'll check out today. I'm not gonna lie, I used this thing a few times back in DMZ and I just did not like this thing but let's see how it performs there in zombies. Before I get into the build I'm using for the Lockwood MK2, I just quickly want to take a moment to thank U4GM for sponsoring this video. U4GM is a safe, trusted, and reliable Call of Duty service provider and they'll help you unlock all the rare schematics and zombies, all the camos, and they offer a lot of other services. If you guys are interested in this, then click the link in the description below and be sure to use my code HIP for an extra 5% off. So as suggested by Mr. Clean, we're using the cutoff stock for an overall mobility boost, the Longhorn Lever for increased rechambering speed, the EXF Solar Flare Laser for increased sprint to fire speed, the 13.5 inch Lone Star Barrel for increased ADS speed, and last but not least, armor piercing ammunition. Thank you again to Mr. Clean for the suggestion and the build. If you guys have any other suggestions for weapons you'd like to see me check out, then be sure to drop a comment below. Now that we covered the build I'm using for the Lockwood MK2, it's time to make our way into the tier 3 zone and the dark ether to see how it performs. I'll see you all there. Alright boys, we made it to the tier 3 zone. As you can see, got our Lockwood to pack 2 so far. Let's just quickly see. I guess it's like a... Okay, it takes a couple shots to get the kill, man, but let's see if we can grab Deadshot Daiquiri. Okay, there's no Wonder Fizz back here. There's one way back there, though. All right, let's see if we can take out this Mega at pack two with a legendary tool and no Deadshot. So we're kind of limited as to how much critical damage we can do, but we'll see, man. We should be okay. We also have Thermites, you know, just in case this thing shoots marshmallows. All right, there we go. Laser attacks already coming in. Just quickly throw that and hit the ammo depot in here. That should help out. Oop, there we go. Let's hit that. Nice. Got some extra thermites. Let's get on this roof here. Zombies will be able to get up here, so we'll have to move pretty soon. There we go. Let's hit a few criticals on the mega. No zombies up here yet. All right. Come on, Mega. Hit us with a laser attack. Come on. Come on. Ooh, we might have to jump off. Okay, there we go. Definitely have to jump. Didn't have a good angle from up there. All right, Mega, come over here, man. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I mean, damage output is... It's kind of eh. But then again, we are at pack two, so I can't really judge this thing yet. Quickly throw a Casimir. Why not? We have more than enough Essence. Just to take care of some of those zombies. Alright, let's get on this car. Don't think he'll hit us with one, maybe? Come on, Mega. Give us that laser attack, man. Come on. Oh, dude. This is gonna take a minute. Nope, never mind. Alright. Hitting those criticals. Oh, I don't see his health bar. Wait, what? Through the car? Okay. Alright, alright. Don't think that laser attack was supposed to go through, but it's all good. All right, let's quickly pick up some ammo and plates back there. No plates on the ground? Dang. Okay. I mean, I think we're going to struggle with this thing, boys. I can't lie. There we go. Let's throw that. Nice. Two faces destroyed on the Mega. We'll have to use our Thermites for this. This is going to take a minute, boys. <laughs> there we go. Another laser attack? No. Never mind. Just a charge. Okay, let's come over here. Get some more distance. Come on, Mega. Come on. Just one more laser attack. That's all I'm asking for. Where's this guy at? There we go. Laser attack. Nice. Can we throw it? Oh, I think we got it. Yes, we did. Nice. And there we go. Mega Abomination is dead. <laughs> I would say quick and easy, but this thing actually took a minute to get the kill, man. I mean, yeah. Oh, God. We'll definitely have to get back three. And dead shot. This is rough right now, boys. Alright, let's loop around here. There we go. Check our reward rift if we can. Uh, there we go. Extra self-revive I will take and an extra sigil. Nice. Don't think there's anything else. Nah. We Gucci, we Gucci. Alright. 
bunch of people in the tier three. We do have a bounty contract back there, which I'll go towards, and I'll also hit the Wonder Fizz just to get this thing to hold up. Is the ammo bugged? I see a bullet like the top right of my screen, dude. Yeah, this gun is actually broken, huh? <laughs> Ooh, got a mangler right there too. Let's see how quickly we can take out this mangler. Now that we have dead shot. Ooh, there we go. Turn that zombie. Nice. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> This might take a minute, boys. I'm not gonna lie. This might take a minute. Ugh. Let's get up here. Get some more distance. We are completely out of plates, man. Hopefully we find some here soon. I did not have any golden plates available. Uh, yeah. I don't know, man. This thing is shooting marshmallows. I'll make my way over to the bounty contract, though, and see if we can do some work, but... I doubt it. We'll have to go get pack three here soon as well. Where's the pack punch machine? Way up there. Um, okay, I'll go pick up the contract and then I'll go get pack. Here we go. Let's see what target it gives us. Ooh, definitely gonna pick up those plates. <laughs> nice. And we got a mimic. All right, not bad, not bad. Where's he gonna be at? Okay, awesome. Yeah, so we can go hit the pack a punch machine real quick. Hopefully this thing starts doing some work at pack three. We'll see. We'll see pack two it's just it's kind of meh there we go got this bad boy two pack three dude what is that glitch with the ammo that i keep seeing let me try inspecting the gun um yeah don't invisible bullets in my hand okay okay <laughs> all right let's see where this mimic is at come on oh he's gonna be upstairs there nice all right let's quickly climb up here now we can see how it performs at pack three there we go um, uh, still kind of meh. I can't lie, dude. This, this. <laughs> oh, dude. I don't know if this is like a recommended weapon because it's good, but it <laughs> feels more like I'm being trolled here, man. I can't lie. <laughs> is this a challenge video or something, dude? What is this? <laughs> oh my god, bro. <laughs> We're gonna struggle in the dark either. Oh man. Oh, I always like the challenge though. Let's keep hitting those shots on the Mimic. Oh my god, dude. We have to get some distance. <laughs> oh my god, bro. I don't know, man. This thing is not it, boys. This thing is not it at all. Let's keep hitting those shots. Nice. Alright, Mimic's about halfway dead. Come on. Oh. What was that about? Oh, that was a rock, dude. I was already thinking we got zombies. <laughs> I'm not trying to go down again. There we go. He's got about a quarter of his health bar left. Nice. Let's hit those shots. Oh, there we go. Nice. Seems like dead shots kind of bugged with this thing, too. Oh, we went way too far. No way, dude. Now this guy's healing. No, stop healing, bro. Come back here. Oh my god. That's rough. Oh, there we go. Have to take out that dog. Nice. At least dogs are a one shot kill, right? <laughs> oh no, and now we're out of ammo. <laughs> Boys, what is this gun, man? Hold on. There should be some ammo back here. Hopefully, maybe. No. Oh my god, dude. We are struggling with this thing. Okay, yeah, there's an armor plate there. That's gonna help out. Nice. There's some ammo right there. Perfect. All right. Let's quickly do that. Awesome. All right. Now we'll keep firing towards that mimic. There we go. There we go. <laughs> oh God. Bro, I swear. I'm gonna end up uploading a 30 minute video of me just taking out one boss. This is just. It's kind of sad, man. There we go. <laughs> Finally got the kill. <laughs> Let's see what we got off that. Oh, juggernaut. Hold on. Gotta get some distance. Take these zombies out. I mean, yeah. Deadshot's also not really working. It won't aim at the head right away. Kinda. It's it's weird. It's weird. Um, epic tool and normal sigil. I'll take the normal sigil, I think. Um, can never have enough of those anymore since I don't have any elders left and I couldn't find any yesterday. Let's take these guys out too. There we go. All right, no more bounty contracts in the tier three. 
Um, <laughs> dude, I think we'll be struggling either way. Been recording for about 10 minutes. All right, I'm gonna go hit the buy station and grab an extra self revive. And after that, we can make our way over to the dark ether. Let's see if we can actually get those contracts done. <laughs> I mean, see, like right there, you're one-shotting tier 3 zombies unless they're armored. But it's... I don't know, man. The damage output is decent, I guess. But overall, I'd have to give this thing like a 4 on 10, I think. Yeah, that would be that would be a fair rating. There we go. Got a free self-revive. Don't even need to hit the buy station anymore. Um, although we do need to buy a Casimir. Never mind. We do have to hit it. Dang it. Okay, it could also be that you kind of have to get used to using this thing. Like, you have to be a bit slower than you normally would with um, Deadshot, because if you just tap and shoot right away, I think that's where I was messing up before. But yeah, overall, like I said, I'll have to give this thing like a 4 on 10 or something. Okay, you know what? I'll grab that hatchback and try to grab that bounty contract on the other side of the map since no one's going for it right now. But, yeah, we'll see, man. We'll see if I change my rating. Could be that I just need to learn how to use this weapon in specific, but I don't know. I don't know. Nice, and we were able to get the contract. Let's go. Let's pick that up, see what target we get. And it's a Mega Abomination. Let's go. Hell yeah. All right, Mega. Where are you at, dog? Okay, he's right there. Got his attention real quick there we go nice let's take that dog out i'll have to take out some of these zombies as well laser attacks coming in there we go think we were able to destroy his face i don't know i think we were a bit too slow on that one let's take some of these guys out so drop some ammo for us nice uh i think we did destroy yeah we destroyed one of his faces oh my god bro got two megas now no way no way. Oh, let's pull this out. No. Oh my god, dude. Worst timing for the laser attack to come in. Oh my god. Alright. Let's keep hitting those shots on this guy. Nice. Let's get some distance here. There we go. Oh my god, bro. I don't know what to think about this thing, dude. This is just not it, boys. It's not it. I'll have to go hit the ammo depot to get some thermites to finish this guy up. Oh my god. Jeez, we're out of self-revives too. Luckily, we got that buy station right next to us. So, I mean, if you're just planning to fight off single target zombies, I guess this gun's all right. But if you're trying to do a bunch of contracts in the tier three, fight off megas and everything, then this gun's not it, man. It's not it. Let's take some of these guys out. Oh my God, bro. It's too slow as well. I don't, I don't know, man. Could just come down to preference, but I definitely do not like this thing at the moment. There we go. Destroyed two of the Mega's faces. We'll need one more laser attack so we can finish him off and then finally go over to the Dark Aether. Oh, man. I mean, like, the EBR was insane, right? Because I think it's the same person who suggested the EBR not too long ago, if I'm not mistaken. But this thing, I don't know, man. I... Let's hit a few shots on him. All right, we'll have to go over to this side so he actually hits us with a laser. There we go. Nice. And we can finish off the kill here. There we go. I would say quick and easy, but we struggled here, boys. We struggled. Let's take that guy out. I'll take the... Actually, no, I'll keep Jug. Um, Extra self-revive, dead wire, and a two-plate. Dude, I almost think... Yeah, I'll have to... I'll replace a sigil with a self-revive because... I think we're going to have a rough time over in the dark ether. <laughs> so yeah, my rating of 4 out of 10 is definitely not changing. Um, I doubt it'll change in the dark ether. Because, <laughs> yeah, I, th I think we're going to have a rough time over there, man. <laughs> but fingers crossed we actually make it and complete all three contracts. But we'll see, we'll see. I don't have that much faith, but, you know, like I said, fingers crossed. And there we go, we made it to the... Portal. Let's use our sigil. Accept that teleport. Um, okay, we actually already stowed a Casimir, so we'll have four in the dark ether. Let's go. All right, I'll see you all in the dark ether. All right, boys, we made it to the dark ether. So once you spawn in, just turn around and make your way into this warehouse. This is where we find the first contract. Now I 
think, yeah, there we go. You could just climb in through there or you can take the staircase. Now our target is a mimic. That's going to be by the circus area. There we go. So uh, the thing with killing this mimic is there's going to be a bunch of zombies. So I think I'll try to use a Lockwood for a bit, but we'll probably have to call in Jug. I'm not going to lie, man, because I think we're going to have a rough time, but we'll see. We'll see. Fingers crossed everything goes according to plan, but you know, it, it could be. It could be. I'm just going to say it now. It could be that you boys are going to see me bleed out and uh, possibly rage quit. <laughs> you know, hopefully that doesn't happen. We'll see, though. All right. We should be able to climb up here and parachute over there from this rooftop. Um, and by the way, for those of you who don't know or you're new to the new Dark Ether, this is actually where we find the second contract, and that's going to be the Outlast contract, but we'll get to that in a bit. Let's just go ahead and parachute over towards this Mimic. There we go. Mimic's way over there. Get a shot on him. Okay, let's bring him over here. All right, we'll have to take out those dogs because they'll catch up to us. There we go. Oh, God. Yeah, this is, uh, this is gonna be rough, boys. <laughs> this is not gonna be a fun time. How much damage did we do? Oh my god, bro. Ugh. Not as much as I would've liked to do. Ugh. Let's play it up here. Jeez. Alright. Get some more distance. Okay. Beautiful. Nice. Let's focus on the Mimic. I mean, it's it's doing an okay-ish amount of damage, but like I said, it's it's nothing crazy. There's definitely better options. Like, um, um, yeah, nothing happened there, boys. Nothing happened there. Got a bird hit me while flying past, and you know, knocked your boy out. <laughs> oh man, where's the mimic at? Okay, he's behind the wall now. Jeez. All right, let's come over here. Just a loop around the whole area. There should be some plates over where I killed a bunch of zombies a second ago. So we can actually play it up. Also have this ammo depot here. Might actually throw a damn thermite at the guy in a second. There we go. Take out some of these normal zombies as well. Perfect. There we go. Threw a few thermites at this guy. I almost said mermites. Throw them mermites at the mimic, bruh. <laughs> there we go. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, this is this is actually rough, man. This feels more like a challenge than a gun review. No, dude, what is this? Oh my god, bro. Are we out of self-revives? No, we're not. We still have a self-revive. Pretty sure that's the last one, though. Oh my god. Oh, this is bad. There we go. Let's quickly play it up a bit. Got the thermites again, so... Oh, let's throw one at the Mimic. And throw a second one here in a second. Have to take out those guys. Oh my god, dude. Let's run a bit quicker. We do have Healing Aura. For some reason, I don't have Ether Shroud. Um, I would have preferred Ether Shroud over Healing Aura, but it is what it is. All right, let's come over here again. We hit that yet? Nah, 33 seconds left. Okay. All good, all good. Oh my god, bro. Jeez. All right, let's come over here and play it up. Got an extra thermite off the ground. Oh, okay, that was, that was, um, yeah. Not a very effective throw on my end, but, you know, still did something at least, okay? Let's come over here. All right, Mimic's right up ahead. All right, Mimic, there we go. I hit him. Oh, that's not gonna be enough to take him out, though. Jeez. You know what, boys? I might actually have to throw a Casimir here in a sec. Take out those hellhounds at least. There we go. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> oh, I don't think we've ever struggled this much in the dark ether, man. This is this is something else. There we go. Oh man. Mimic should be super weak. There we go, got the kill. Oh my god. Thank god. No nope, 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 nope. That is way too many zombies, man. <laughs> oh dude. That's rough. Um Okay, I'll have to- I'll have to throw a Kazmir. I don't have a choice here. Oh. What? Oh my god, man. <laughs> Boys, I don't think we'll finish all three contracts. We got a self-revive, though, and an Elder Sigil. Um, I'll take that as well. And, yeah. 
I'll keep that extra slot empty. All right, so let's try to run past these guys, pick up a bunch of plates. That's definitely going to help out. So we do have one self-revive. Now, I think the hardest part is over with this gun, especially. Um, as you guys saw, it's almost impossible to do that bounty contract. And sure, we could have thrown down Jug, but that kind of defeats the purpose. Um, I might have to use Jug towards the end, though, if we run out of self-revives or anything. But yeah, so the next contract is right up here, like I showed you guys earlier. That's E7 on the map. Once you pick that up, just make your way on this wall, dolphin dive, and open up your parachute and fly towards this foggy area back here. And then from here, you can just run up this hill, climb these two walls, and the PND device is right here, so just activate that. Now for this contract, all you do is stay in this room. Um, there's really not much to it. I'd recommend just training the zombies. If you have a good gun, you could even fight the zombies off. But personally, I would still recommend training. Um, if you step out for a few seconds, if it gets too crowded, there's nothing wrong with that because the analysis progress goes down a lot slower than it goes up. As you can see, we already caught up again. Um, yeah, so just play it safe. <clears throat> Don't take any risks. And uh, yeah, you should be fine. We're out of self revives. Oh, God. This ain't good, boys. This ain't good. That's all I'm going to say. I'll see you guys either once this contract's done or once we've... Uh, you know, once we've died, I'll have to throw a jug for this part. Oh, God. There we go. That feels a lot better, don't it, boys? <laughs> All right, let's run into this room, and there we go. Now we can uh, progress with this contract a bit quicker, at least. <laughs> oh, God. Hopefully we get a self-res, man. Hopefully. Uh, there we go. We finished the contract. Oh, my God. We're one HP. Oh, my God, dude. There we go. Most of the zombies are dead. Oh, shit. Let's run over here and see what we got. Please have a self-revive, please. No self-revive. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, this is rough. This is rough. Uh, okay, so once you finish that contract... Dude, what what is this glitch right now? It's like a... Hold up. It's like a disciple glitch. I hope that... Oh, God. Um, We broke the game, boys. We broke the game. <laughs> Anyways, once you finish that contract, just make your way over to the mall. Now, the third and final contract is going to be right up there, right at the top. Now, there's a few ways you can get up there. There's actually an ether tier back there. Um, you could take the staircase inside the mall, or you could just climb up to the parking garage like so. I like to take this route just for nostalgia purposes, because, you know, back in DMZ, I loved being in this place. So, uh, yeah. Oh, no. Just make your way over to the rooftop, and uh, I'll see you guys once I grab the contract. And what should I title this video? Actual footage of hypnostic struggling in the dark ether. <laughs> oh, man. No, I'll probably name it, like, just stay away from this gun or something. I'll, I'll figure it out. Anyways, once you pick up that contract, just start running west immediately. Bro, is there, like, an invisible... I don't know what's going on right now, man. There's, like, an invisible disciple on me the whole time that's crazy anyways once you pick it up just keep running west dolphin dive off this rooftop land on this platform and from here you can just dolphin dive over to this side and then just throw a casimir right at the ground it's gonna bounce off and pull in all the zombies but more importantly it's gonna let us disable the extractor Quick and easy, there we go. One extractor disabled, then while you're running to the next one, just open up your bag, equip the next uh, Casimir. Just run over in this direction and throw a Casimir at that wall. That'll pull in all the zombies and once again, it's gonna let us disable the extractor. So just do that, there we go. Now we run over to the third and final extractor and just throw a Casimir at the ground right behind it. There we go. And once again, just get this extractor disabled. Quick and easy, we do have a symbol monkey, which I will pick up. And uh, I'll throw that down now, just to distract all the zombies while we check our reward rift. And, uh, wait, what? Did that other one not disable, dude? Hold on. Something ain't right. Something ain't right at all, boys. Oh, let's come over here. See what's up back there. Okay, we might die trying, but it'll be worth the risk. Come on. 
And, uh, I think we are. Yeah, we got it now. We got it now, boys. <laughs> now I'm just not sure how we're going to check our reward rift, but let's just risk it. That's all we get. Nothing too fancy. Oh my god, let's run back here. All right, and we survived all three contracts, man. That was rough. I'm not going to lie, man. This gun, this gun was a challenge. Oh, dude, that's crazy. All right, so my final rating for this gun is going to have to be like a 3 on 10. Could be that I just have to get used to it, but you guys saw, I mean, the, the damage output is eh. I mean, if you're just fighting off normal tier 3 zombies, it'll be fine. But if you're trying to take out elites while taking out groups of zombies, this gun is just not it, man. There's better choices out there. But thank you again for the suggestion. If you guys have any other suggestions for weapons you'd like to see me check out, then be sure to drop a comment below. Even if it's a gun that doesn't perform very well, I will review it and kind of look at it as a challenge video in that sense. But I'll also let you guys know not to use the gun for sure. But um, yeah, thank you all for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please go hit that like button, comment with any suggestions for future videos, and don't forget to subscribe to show your support to the channel. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever in the world you are. And as always, goodbye.